the Pedagoxid was uh, first discovered in the 1960s uh, from the serpentine catchment uh, that included the original Lake Pedder and a nearby Lake, uh, Lake Mariah. It used to inhabit the marshes and the stream and the Lake Pedder itself, the original Lake Pedder that is. Understanding of the serpentine catchment and the Hewan catchment back in 1972 for hydropower generation resulted in major changes to the physical environment of, of the area and also the ecology of the species that live there that included the pedagoxid. The consequences of this was rather dire for the pedagoxid as uh, we saw introduced species such as brown trout and a closely related galaxid species, the climbing galaxid that were introduced into the area through flooding. Not until the point of the um, Galaxid population began to crash, the conservation efforts uh, stepped up. Initially that involved uh, monitoring or looking a whole range of sites and collected 80 odd Galaxids in, in one year. Uh, 68 of those Galaxids essentially came from two streams. And in the three years after that particular survey, between 1993 and 1996, just four pedagoxids were found in that whole time. So as you can see, the population basically crashed within a couple of years. Captive breeding trials were undertaken as part of the conservation efforts, but unfortunately met with mixed success and only ended up with um, 11 uh, juvenile fish out of the program. As the breeding program essentially didn't meet its goals, those 11 fish were translocated to Lake Oberon along with the seven adult fish used in the program as one of the last conservation efforts to save the species. Between 1993 and 1996, uh, monitoring was undertaken of the Lake Oberon population but unfortunately um, we couldn't find any fish, in fact just one fish was found in that whole time. Meanwhile down at Lake Pedder uh, in 1996 we found four more pedagalaxids over that summer. Those four galaxids were transferred to the Strathgordon water supply dam and, and put in a fish cage there. So we're in this situation where we had one fish at Lake Oberon that we weren't sure was either fish from breeding or one of the translocated fish and we had four fish in a fish cage at Strathcordon Dam and one of those fish actually died. So those last three fish were then translocated to Lake Oberon and we just basically crossed our fingers and hoped that those and, and the one fish that we'd found would end up um, maintaining the population. Further survey we undertook at Lake Oberon in March 1997 that included some diving, some remote operated cameras, underwater cameras, and also some netting. Found a number of uh, juveniles and a few adults. So at that time it looked like the, the population had began to breed and they continued on uh, over the years to the point where our last survey Lake Oberon back in 2012, we ended up, I think it was something like uh, 300 odd fish overnight from the survey. So the, the population has actually reached a stable and robust situation at the moment. And we're really pleased that that, that situation has occurred. We're now arrived at the point at the Strathgordon Water Supply Dam where the population there has increased heaps. A typical survey there, we may find two or three hundred fish for an overnight set of the traps we put in. Uh, so the population there has also arrived at a robust and stable situation. So now we have two populations, Lake Oberon and Strathgordon Water Supply Dam, and together it's likely to be several thousand fish in both those populations.
We're now at a point where the program has been running for 30 years. We've got two robust, stable populations and monitoring has began to become less and less. We're now at the point where we're about to take our last monitoring trip to Lake Oberon and also the Strathgordon Water Supply Dam. So positive results from those two surveys will basically see us draw a line under a 30 year program to save the species. Uh, at one point we thought we probably had the last three fish in a fish cage. We've now arrived at a point where there are several thousand fish. So with a bit of luck and a lot of effort from a lot of people over a lot of years has resulted in saving this species from extinction. And so there were no higher mountains, it's all in your hand. The valley was the future, see, and our sails the plan. And in this travel with no journey, I lose till I'm like letting go of mine to have what I'm keeping now.